Let's go. <laughs> It's too early for this. Hello vlog. We are at the gate waiting. Hello. And we realized that today is the Super Bowl and we have a layover in Vegas where the Super Bowl is taking place. Go Niners. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's lots of Niners fans at this gate, which is kind of cool to see. Yeah. We are not really big into football though. We only really watch basketball. It's cute that all the fans travel to see the team play. Yeah, it's very cool. I like it. They're all wearing like their Niners, Niners hats gear. and like jerseys and oh that's V8. not Niners <laughs> but yeah we're just waiting to board we're getting kind of hungry so maybe we've been we'll, thinking about what we're gonna eat yeah maybe we'll eat something during our layover it's only one hour layover but maybe we have enough time to get something to eat at the Las Vegas airport but then it's straight to Orlando I'm so excited also you guys my nail broke I literally just got my nails done like, what was it, three, two days ago, yeah. and my nail broke. I kind of filed it down so it doesn't look as bad, but you can tell it looks shorter than the others. And it yeah. completely ripped off. It looks okay. It's also the finger that I wear my ring on, so that's not great either. Well, maybe because of that, people won't notice the fingernail. That's true, maybe. Yeah. The ring will distract them. Exactly. Anyways, we're Anyways. gonna have fun. On yeah, our flight. we're extremely tired, so pray for us. <laughs> We made it! We are in our room, so let's do a quick room tour. So, this is the door when you walk in, and then to the right, there's... Is this air conditioning? I think so, right? Yeah. But there's also a little, like, place to put your stuff, which is nice. There's some windows, there's bird, <laughs> and then there's... I think this folds out into another bed. Yeah, I think so. It, says it has, like, instructions here. Yeah, if you, like, pull this out, do you want to try? Just for funsies? Ah, yeah, it does. So good for families. And then when it you're not using it as a bed, you can use it as a bench with drawers and stuff. And then there's a coffee table, a couch, a big mirror this way. I think this is another bed that falls down. So it can actually sleep five people. One, two, three, four, five. But anyway, it's just me and Bird. So we have this bed. We have like a counter space area. Is there a fridge in here? A fridge, nice. And we have a TV and a coffee station. I really like actually how this is like a big counter space. This is nice and can charge all my stuff. <laughs> and then coming this way, we have the bathroom. Ooh, okay. slide, the, slide the door. Wow. Then this is the bathroom. This actually looks kind of renovated. Yeah. It looks nice, right? Yeah. And then we have closet with some extra pillows and blankets ironing board your weird hotel seat <laughs> <laughs> and then we have some more shelving here which is nice i like this vanity actually and yeah it's nice nice with the double sinks yeah, too big. and then we have more towels toilet paper tissues and we also have this mirror <laughs> and then coming this way oh this one also has a door 
a pocket door. Ooh, I actually really like these tiles. They're so cute mm. with the blue. But anyway, this is the bathroom, toilet, shower, pretty standard stuff. Anyway, that's about it. It's a pretty small room, but it's everything we need for the week. We are staying here for six nights. And yeah, now we're just taking it easy. I think we're gonna try to go to Disney Springs, yeah. right? I'm so excited. Also, the Super Bowl is going on right now. Oh yeah. It's 4.41. What time does the Super Bowl end? What time is halftime show? I don't know anything. Oh, we have to look it up. But anyway. We should go to Disney Springs and watch it. Yeah, yeah, we should. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, whatever we decide to do, we'll take you guys along. I'm so excited and we're That's here! Cool. Yeah! This place is huge compared to downtown Disney. <laughs> downtown Disney is like one tenth of the size. <laughs> There's so much shopping, so many restaurants. Wow, I'm excited. Bird, look. I know. Your favorite. Lego store. We'll go in later. Okay. <laughs> After we eat. All right, we just got our food. So we are at Eat. It's a new Indian restaurant in Disney Springs by Manit Chawan, who's from Food Network. And we got the tandoori chicken poutine. And we also got the DIY pani puri and the chicken tikka naan pizza. Yum! I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. Let's dig in. <laughs> so for this, I think we're supposed to add this filling in. Get in there. <laughs> and then there's some puffs on the bottom. Put that in there. And then this is like a, I don't know, it's kind of like a cold broth almost. Because it's not really a sauce because it's really thin. But you just pour it in like that, and then you eat it. Mm. Wow. It explodes. Very juicy from this. But really good. I love how crispy the shell is. If you've never tried Pani Puri before, you should try it. It's really good. Bird hasn't tried it before. Bird, you should try it. Okay, I just made one for Bird. <laughs> I know, right? It explodes. It kind of reminds me of um, if I was to eat salsa in a bite. <laughs> kind of. Eh? Yeah. Kind of. Say it with me. Fun to Fun eat. To eat. <laughs> okay, let's try the other stuff. Tandoori chicken fries. Mmm. Mm. Oh, God. Ooh. Creamy from the cheese, nice and meaty chicken. Very flavorful. Look at this cheese. Look at this cheese. Ooh. Wow! And the fries stay crispy too. Mmm. Now for the chicken tikka non pizza. Not bad. Surprisingly, I feel like the tandoori fries actually has more flavor than this. I thought this yeah. would have more flavor. This is good, but I like the tandoori fries better. It's a little dry. Dry, you think? Yeah. And the naan is too floppy to be a good pizza vehicle. Not bad, but definitely the poutine's better. Oh my gosh, you guys, we just went to Gideon's Bakehouse and right when we were about to order, they said they were screaming and they were saying, it's hot cookie hour, which means that you can get original chocolate chip cookie, hot, served with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. So, I mean, 
How could we not? We had to get that. <laughs> Although Bert doesn't like hot cookies, so he likes cold cookies because he's weird. Anyway, we also got a cookies and cream to try, but we have to try this first, of course. Wow, look at that. Cheers. Cheers. I love a hot cold combo. Mm, the cookie is so gooey and melty. This is a good cookie. You know what would make it better? If it was cold. Boo. Very rich chocolate. And they pack on the chocolate chips. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is like a bazooki, but on steroids. Yeah. They only have hot cookie hour two times per day. 2 to 3 p.m. and 7 to 8 p.m. And we just got lucky that we happen to time it correctly. But if you ever come here and you end up here at their hot cookie hour, definitely try it. Mm. What do you think? I like cold cookie. You don't like it? I think if I like hot cookie, I would like this a lot. But right now, it's, it's cool, it's fine. Don't listen to Bird. This give to Maymay, not give to Bird. <laughs> This is the cookies and cream cookie. Bird's gonna try. This one's not hot, so maybe you'll like it better. How's it? I like the different textures yeah? that it has. I do wish it was thinner. Uh -huh. I like thin and cold cookies. That's my favorite. Ay, ay, ay. But is it good? Well, wow, there's like a whole Oreo in there. Uh -huh. Wow. Good. Kind of crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside, and a lot of uh, cookies and cream flavor. I think it's not bad, but this one, I like it better. I just stumbled across these Nui Mo's and my friend, Color Me Courtney, you can see her name there, she designed these little outfits for the mini Nui Mo. Like she did a collab with Disney to design these. So cool. It's time for Bird's favorite store. <laughs> I feel like the downtown Disney one is usually like kind of empty. Stock, yeah, yeah, not as stocked. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Wow. Cool. It's actually expensive though. Yeah. For like the ship's not that big. Yeah. Hey, this ship's big. What is this one? Venator. Oh. Clone Very Wars. Cool. This is huge. Yeah. Too big to display yeah. at our place. Yeah. Right now. Right now? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this one. The Avengers Tower. That's pretty cool. On the bus back. Watching the Super Bowl. Gotta make sure we don't miss Usher. <laughs> Usher, baby. <laughs> Hello vlog, we are back in our hotel room now. Also, the halftime show was so good. I thought Usher was really good and I liked how he brought a bunch of people like Alicia Keys, her, Ludacris, Lil Jon. I low-key was like, is he gonna bring Jungkook and they're gonna sing Standing Next to You? But that didn't happen, but it's okay. It was still really, really good. Like probably one of my favorite halftime shows. But anyway, we were back from Disney Springs and we just did like a quick little Disney Springs thing. Like we just walked around and we did eat some stuff, but we will be doing another day at Disney Springs, like a whole day. And I think that'll be in the next vlog. Yeah, cause we're here for five days, like the weekdays. And four of the days we're going to the parks and one of the days we're gonna go to Disney Springs. But the four days that we're going to the parks, I'm doing main channel videos for each of them. So I don't think I'm gonna have time to be vlogging on those days, but the Disney Springs day, I think I'll make that into a vlog. So if you wanna see what we eat at Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, and Epcot, go check out the main channel. Although I think those main channel videos will come out 
in a few months ish because I still have to post my Japan and Taiwan videos to the main channel. I've just been really backed up with a lot of videos and work and stuff lately. So yeah, things are coming out slower than I would like. And I'm sorry guys about that, but sometimes that's just how it goes. But yeah, stay tuned on the main channel for those videos, but the next vlog should be us eating around Disney Springs and exploring D Disney Springs, which I'm really excited about because we kind of got a little sneak peek today when we went over there and we didn't spend that much time there, but it's really cool. Like it's way bigger than downtown Disney. I don't think it's 10 times bigger. <laughs> I think that I was exaggerating at first, but it just seemed so much bigger. I think also because we've never been here before. There's just so much to look at. And I think Disney Springs is designed a lot better than downtown Disney. Like it's super cool. Their Rainforest Cafe is like a volcano. It's so cool. Like I remember when there was Rainforest Cafe in downtown Disney, it was not a volcano. It was not that cool. And then yeah, they have like tons of shops, way more shops than downtown Disney. They have Anthropology, they have Zara, they have Uniqlo freaking unique low <laughs> and lots of other stuff like coach kate spade etc etc lots of stuff there so it's definitely more of a shopping destination than D downtown disney is but anyway excited to explore that more in the next vlog i think this vlog is actually going to be pretty short because it's pretty much just our travel day plus this little like us entering into Disney World, giving a room tour and doing Disney Springs. But I think the day we do Disney Springs should be a standalone video. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Oh wait, I have to show you guys. We went to World of Disney and look what I found, the churro ears. I don't know if you guys have been following the vlogs for that long, but when we went to Disneyland last June for the Indiana Jones screening, I was looking for these everywhere and I couldn't find them. They were hella sold out at like all the shops, literally. I went searching all around the parks, all around everywhere and it, they were all sold out. But I found them here, so I'm very happy about that. So we'll see if I end up wearing those sometime this week. But yeah, I'm just so happy to be here. I have been looking forward to this trip since last summer, I booked it last July. If you guys remember, I said it in a vlog where I was like, I just booked my birthday Disney trip and we're going to Disney World instead of Disneyland because for the past eight years, it's been me and Bird's tradition to go to Disneyland for my birthday. And the whole backstory behind that is because my birthday is actually on Valentine's Day. And growing up, I hated having my birthday on Valentine's Day because no one would ever remember all my friends would forget because they're all like in relationships and they would like not remember my birthday and I would just feel so like sad. <laughs> so ever since me and Bird started dating, pretty much we go to Disneyland every year for my birthday. So that way it feels special. And it's just like a fun tradition that we've held on to all these years. And even the year where we couldn't go to Disneyland because it was closed because of the pandemic, Bird decked out my whole room in Disneyland like decorations and he simulated rides. If you guys haven't seen that video on my main channel, I will link it in the cards somewhere here and also in the description box. You guys should really check it out. It's so cool. Like I can't believe Bird did that. Yeah, anyway, I'm just happy to be here. I can't believe we're in Disney World. It's so exciting. I'm also really overwhelmed because I don't know anything here. Like whenever I go to Disneyland, I know everything. I've been there so many times. I know where to go. I know where to eat. I know where everything in the park is, but here it's like a whole new world, if you will. <laughs> so I'm a bit nervous about that. Just like the unfamiliarity of stuff but I really should stop rambling because I need to shower and also just make sure we're all set for tomorrow. We're going to Hollywood Studios. We also, since we're staying at a Disney resort, we get early entry into the parks 30 minutes before it opens. So that means we basically have to wake up at like 6 a.m. to make sure we have everything good to go, get ready and all that stuff. So yeah, but I'm excited. If you made it this far, comment below. Yay, churro ears! <laughs> because I can't believe I finally found them after like eight to nine months of searching. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!